Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. This morning we are starting out with a notably calmer condition on as far as our winds are concerned. Those things have gone almost completely calm at times overnight and it's really a nice morning outside as long as you don't mind it a little bit on the chilly side. Now let's take a look outside from that tower cam. We are continuing to see temperatures falling down into the low 30s. A good deal colder than it was yesterday morning on account of those light winds. Whenever we have wind during the overnight that tends to help our temperatures stay a little bit warmer. We had that yesterday but now with calmer conditions, temperatures have been allowed to come down a little bit more efficiently overnight. Now 31 degrees here in the Hub City with cloud cover streaming back in. There is another little disturbance moving by and that's producing some very light showers over southeastern portions of New Mexico. Little if any of this is making it down to the ground and it looks like we're probably going to be staying completely dry here on the South Plains other than maybe a quick sprinkle or two this morning. Nothing that's worth noting and nothing that will cause any problems or any improvement to our current ongoing drought situation. A few spots have fallen down right around to that freezing mark. It's 30 degrees in Muleshoe, 30 in Friona. Out in uh, Plains, it's 33 degrees, 36 in Brownfield, just now getting down to 31 here in the Hub City and even holding on to 40 degrees down in Snyder. But everyone's just a little bit colder than they were yesterday. Wind chill values feeling like the mid-20s. Right now, it feels like 24 degrees outside in Lubbock. You're probably going to want to take that jacket with you and you might be able to keep it with you throughout most of the day because our temperature this afternoon is going to be just a little tiny bit cooler than it was yesterday. 57 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Thankfully though those winds are going to continue to come downward compared to where they were yesterday. Just 12 to 18 miles per hour out of the southwest. Those temperatures today running from the mid 50s to the low 60s down south and east. Just a, maybe a touch cooler outside overall than it was yesterday. And winds are going to be staying nice and light, generally gusting below 20 miles per hour all afternoon. But as we go into tonight, those winds are actually going to start to come back up a little bit, and that's going to help to hold our low temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow morning, likely in the upper 30s to lower 40s compared to today's lower 30s. And then by tomorrow afternoon, the winds come right back in. We'll have yet another gusty afternoon with west winds setting up gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour likely in areas to the north and west of the Lubbock Metro. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few 30 plus mile per hour gusts here to, uh, for tomorrow. It's not going to be completely out of control, but still a very gusty day expected for your Saturday and your last day of 2022. And with those winds increasing during the overnight, that'll hold our low temperatures slightly warmer, generally upper 30s to low 40s expected outside tomorrow morning. And then our afternoon highs expected in the upper 60s getting another nice little warm up to close out the year. Your New Year's Eve is looking like a mild and windy day with mostly sunny skies. Now as we go into the New Year's New Year's Day, we are going to see those clouds on the increase. January 1st we'll see mostly cloudy skies and also a very slight chance of rainfall in the evening courtesy of our next storm system. There's that little disturbance going by this morning and the big trough coming in from the west. That's going to be a pretty powerful storm system for folks out to our east, but right now it's not looking like this is going to shake out to be very impactful for us here on the South Plains. We'll see increasing cloud cover on Sunday and then as that system develops and moves on by, it's going to find the moisture just to our east and it looks like that's going to be continuing to keep us in the dry slot other than a few isolated showers. The big bullseye of this system is going to be out to our east and it does include a severe weather threat for folks down in the deep south. If you know anybody there in Arkansas or Louisiana, definitely let them know that this is going to be coming their way around Monday of next week and then as that system passes by another cold front and a cool down into early next week keeping us near our seasonal averages heading into January of 2023. Now we'll be right back with your KLBK Sports Connection.